As it stands right now, there is one, maybe two teams in the AFC that kind of make you like, they make you shudder a little bit. Now, I think that first team is clearly the Kansas City Chiefs, and I think it's the Buffalo Bills. Now, the Bills, yes, they got back on the mat and doing their thing after uh, taking one on the chin against the Vikings. Somehow, the, uh, I, I don't know honestly how the Vikings won that game, but at the end of the day, if we have to pick between the two teams at this point in the season, I'm going to put it on the table right now. I think the Kansas City Chiefs are the team to beat in the AFC. And I know what I'm going to get in the comment section down below. Uh, but the Chiefs, they already lost to the, to the Bills earlier in the season. I don't care. I don't care because there's a couple things we've learned in this life. You never count out Tom Brady and you never count out Patrick Mahomes because the man is just the absolute man. You're talking about a guy that has over 3,200 passing yards, 28 touchdowns, and 7 interceptions. Then, then the Chiefs also have a three-headed rushing attack in Isaiah Pacheco, Clyde Edwards, Alaire, and Jarek McKinnon. So you've got three running backs uh, that are absolute studs. You've got, you know, and this is the thing about the Chiefs too. I would argue that they only have one, count it, one a top 10 pass catcher in Travis Kelsey uh, who has six 69 catches for 855 yards and 11 touchdowns. Then you got Juju, Marquez Valdez, Scantling, I uh, know McCole Hardman and all those guys. And you got a defense that's opportunistic and will get the job done in every sense of the word when it has to. But at the end of the day, I truly believe that I, I know we're, we're, we're what, maybe halfway through the season, maybe a little bit above, but this team is, is truly talented enough to be able to take and go to anyone with the mat. Like this is, you know, they're never out. The, if it wasn't for that Patrick Mahomes interception, they probably would have beaten the Bills, but it is what it is at this point they didn't need a coin flip that time uh okay sorry but I, I i really believe that moving forward the kansas city chiefs are the team to beat especially you know we talked about how special this offense is this defense that quite honestly you know i i was a little hesitant on nick bolton over the last couple of years uh i didn't know if he was going to be a top backer but he's an absolute stud you got legeria sneed back there as well that does some big things for this team uh and they get after the passer as well so you know the defense it's it's not a uh it's not a top five unit but it's a unit that gets the job done and when you have patrick mahomes and this kind of an offense and this kind of a head coach, you just you let them go. You just let them do their thing, and then at the end of the day, you just hope that it's enough to win the, the game at the end of the day because usually it is. And so, you know, as the Chiefs moved forward here, you know, and as we take a kind of a look at the teams to beat so far, um, as we kind of inch closer to, you know, those very first, um, you know, playoff pictures that we're going to see, you know, in the coming weeks, I think you when you look at the AFC, the Kansas City Chiefs are that team. And, yes, the Buffalo Bills, you know, getting back on the mat and, and uh, after taking one on the chin against the Vikings, I honestly don't know how the Vikings won that game. I really don't. But but, you know, you've got a team in the Chiefs. They are a top tier team. They are a top tier and top run organization. The Bills are right there. You've got the Miami Dolphins as well. But if we have to, if we just have to be honest with ourselves, if we have to look at this uh, thing at, at, at all levels here, to me, there is no question that the Chiefs really are the team to beat. I still, you know, if we're looking at quarterbacks alone, uh, I mean, Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes, that's going to be the highlight of the year, watching those two quarterbacks go after it. And the Dolphins, they look really good with Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waller right now. Uh, but honestly, at the end of the day, the Chiefs, they are special, and they continue to be special every given week. And they are still, they are still the team to beat. And I think that's not going to change as we move forward toward the end of the season here. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below leave a like and a comment it helps people find the show we greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get you guys are all truthfully awesome we love every single one of you down in the description below you'll find all of our social media platforms so make sure you guys give us a like and a follow there also remember to give us a listen and sub on itunes and finally if you have anything else you'd like us to cover send us an email at the sports bp at yahoo.com or put in the comment section down below and we would love to cover but let us know what you guys think about the kansas city chiefs being the team to beat in the afc